Russian state media says a major Ukrainian offensive has been pushed back. It's reported to have happened along the front line in southern Donetsk. There's been no comment from Kyiv, and the reports have not been independently verified. Russia's defense ministry has released these pictures, which allegedly show the battle. Moscow claims 250 Ukrainian soldiers were killed and dozens of armored vehicles destroyed. In total, the enemy deployed six mechanized and two tank battalions. The enemy's goal was to break through our defenses in the most vulnerable, in its opinion, sector of the front. The enemy did not achieve its tasks. It had no success as a result of capable and calculated actions of the group of forces east. The Ukrainian army suffered losses of more than 250 people, 16 tanks, three armored personnel carriers and 21 armored vehicles. Well, it comes as two groups of Russian paramilitaries fighting on the side of Ukraine say they launched another raid into Russia. One of the groups, the Russian Volunteer Corps, has released a video it says shows captured soldiers, including two lying wounded on hospital beds. It says it's ready to hand them over to Ukrainian authorities. Well, the raid took place close to the town of Novaya Tavolzanka, just four kilometers across the border. The regional governor says the town was shelled from Ukraine before being attacked. The second group involved in the raid, Liberty of Russia Legion, has released this drone footage. They say it shows their fighters carrying out the raid in Belgorod, although it's unclear when it was filmed. Well, Pavel Felgengauer is a Russian defence analyst. He believes the plan is to force Russia to move troops away from the main fighting. I believe that the Ukrainians hope that Russians, uh, force, uh, the Russia would remove reinforcements, especially some reinforcements, as it was said, that maybe the Wagner... Uh, uh, stormtroops will be moved there to Belgorod. That means they'll be moved out from the south, where most likely the real fighting is going to happen in the coming weeks or a couple of months. Uh, so that would be maybe the Ukrainian objective. Uh, these uh, small auxiliary groups cannot really achieve a strategic uh, objective by their raids. Their only strategic objective is to pester the Russians and make them reinforce forces in Belgorod at the expense of other places. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian military says it's intercepted more than half of the latest wave of Russian strikes against its cities. But one missile hit the city of Dnipro on Saturday, killing a two-year-old girl in a residential area. Charles Stratford has the latest from Kyiv. Alyona Seretniak sits among the rubble. Civilian homes destroyed by what the Ukrainian governor of the region says was a Russian cruise missile. The two-year-old girl was found dead, buried in the destruction. More than 20 other people, including five children, were also injured in Saturday night's attack in Dnipro. I was running across the traffic. I was running home. My child was alone at home. We tried to pull my child under the cage over the window. We took the cage off and took my kid out. He's being treated now. Ukrainian authorities say they intercepted the majority of the cruise missiles and drones launched by Russian forces in this attack. But some got through, destroying civilian lives. Here's my son's apartment, which was destroyed. There is a crater on the first floor. A young family lived on the second floor. A two-year-old child died. The mother is undergoing care now. Russia says it avoids targeting civilian areas, but this is just one of hundreds of attacks hitting places where people live. Ukraine's Prosecutor General Office says at least 485 children have been killed and another 1,500 injured in Ukraine since Russia's invasion last year. We spoke today with people who lost their property. Four apartments were completely destroyed. We also see that houses that cannot be restored must be completely demolished. People lost their lives in these houses, in these apartments. There's been an escalation in Russian cruise missile and so-called kamikaze drone attacks in recent weeks, and they come ahead of a long-expected Ukrainian counter-offensive, an operation that the Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky says his military is now ready to start. As the fighting intensifies in the coming weeks, it's expected that more civilians, including children, will die. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Kyiv.